smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? All right, so can we talk? Like, are we, are we here? It's never too hot for makeup for me, at least not in the United States so far. So I appreciate you guys who have subscribed to my channel for all these years, and I appreciate the support. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please check out all of my videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to share if you care. Um, comment on any videos that you like in regards to what you want to see next. Hit me up on all of my socials and let's interact. Help me reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube and let's get this thing going. All right, so can we talk? Like, are we are we here? Okay, so we just gonna talk about why y'all mad today. The first reason why y'all are apparently mad today is um, y'all are mad about this Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion song. Struggle to understand why y'all so mad. By the way, all the products will be in the description box because I ain't got all day to be talking about what the products are and everything. This is just us. We just talking. We just trying to figure out why y'all so mad about this song. I mean, I get why y'all mad, but I don't understand why y'all mad about it. Like, I can understand not liking the song. I mean, it's not like it's an extraordinary song or some shit. Like, um, you know, it's it's just a song. You know, it's it's entertaining. You know, it's it's out there. It's vulgar. You know, and. I'm not necessarily like the nastiest person or, you know, I don't even know how to articulate it, but me, I just take the music for what it is. I don't, you know, get that hung up in it unless you're talking about some wild shit, like, you know, some words I can't use on YouTube apparently that I found out, but you know what I'm saying. But when you're just talking about something that you're going to do to your man, that's going to actually pleasure him or something that you want him to do to pleasure you I just don't understand the anger behind it if it's that vulgar just don't listen to it you know it's not like you being forced to listen to it you know you can listen to whatever radio station you want you don't even gotta listen to the radio you can just plug in your device and play the songs that you want to hear that you want to hear so if you don't want to hear it just don't listen to it what I don't get is these people, and it's not even just men. I'm seeing women do it. I'm just seeing people do it in general. Talk about how Meg and Cardi are just not, you know, leading good examples for little girls. And what I can't understand is why they would be the example at any point. At what point was Cardi B, who started stripping at 17, ever the example looking for her or someone beside yourself or someone in your family that you would trust your trust with your child to be the example like for me growing up my example was my parents my teachers you know maybe my pastor you know elders in my family that I could look up to like my grandfather who was a pastor um like those were people that my parents would want me to look up to. Why on earth would parents be sitting here mad about someone that they children don't necessarily have to look up to? Instill something in your kids so that they look up to either you or somebody who's in the realm of what they want to do. And there are positive rappers out there. So let's not act like those people don't exist. You know, they may not get the attention that they should be getting, and that's really just up to us. If you want more positivity, then you got to support the positive artists so that they get, you know, put to the forefront. So just like we do for everything else, when we don't want to see some shit, we just, you know, boycott it and pull ourselves away from it. Why y'all don't just do that with sharing the people that you want to look up to? Focus on them. Keep sharing their stuff. Keep buying their stuff. And don't just stream it. Buy it. Buy their stuff and stream it. I'll buy stuff and then I'll just play it on my device. Like, just just buy the person's music and support them. That's how you get, you know, them the attention that they deserve. You know, like, I grew up with, you know, Lil' Kim, Trina, Kaya, 
I was a kid when they came out. Like um, I was born in 87 and Kim and all them were coming out in the late nineties. So I was barely 10 years old, you know, when they were coming out and I didn't even know what they was talking about most of the time. And then when I got to a certain age, I knew that I'm not about to sit here and try to be like them. I don't care what their music was saying. Like you may take certain things from people and admire them for it. Like you might admire their hustle you know, or how confident they are. Certain attributes you admire from someone. It doesn't mean you have to emulate, imitate, you know, praise, stand, whatever you want to call it, worship, what, all the stuff that people have been trying to say about Cardi and Meg. You, why can't people just admire certain attributes of a person without being, without it being looked at as you want to be like them? I love Cardi B's confidence. I love her don't give a fuckness. You know, same thing with Meg. Meg is 25, living her best single life. She's single. Cardi is singing about what she want to do to her husband. She mentioned her husband name in every other song. What's wrong with talking about what you want to do to your husband? Like, she married now. You know, one minute y'all don't want people to talk about things because they're not married. Well, she married, so who cares what she's talking about doing to her husband? If she's talking about doing that to your man, like, or somebody else's man, she's all the way in it when it comes to her marriage. Like, that's what I like. I don't want to be like the girl. Shit, I'm older than her. Like, I'm grown as hell. What I look like trying to be like Cardi B or Meg. So, you know, I'm just saying, like, y'all just be taking this shit a little bit too deep. It's just not that deep. Moral of the story, if you don't like the song, swipe to the next song. The next item on the docket for what, what y'all mad about today is um, apparently y'all are mad about Keisha Dior and Gucci Mane. One, y'all apparently mad that they got a baby on the way. I don't even know why anybody would be mad at that. And then the second thing that y'all apparently are mad about because they other children are not on y'all radar like for y'all to know what their children are up to. Why do y'all care about what somebody, why do you care? Like why somebody don't post their kids? what gives you what kind of entitlement do you think that you got to somebody kids when they never show their kids so they post a picture of Keisha with her baby bump and some y'all in the comments on the shade room like oh well make sure y'all had that one like y'all had the other kids damn right so that y'all can judge them like y'all do everybody else kids y'all was judging the shit out of Blue Ivy and go ahead and lie I'm gonna wait for y'all to lie Go ahead. Go ahead and lie. Y'all was out there judging that little girl. As soon as she started getting to a certain age and her hair started growing out and her type four hair was flourishing, y'all started getting mad, calling, talking about why don't Beyonce comb her hair and all this type of shit. It was hashtags about Blue Ivy's hair. Like y'all was going in on that little girl and she wasn't even 10 years old yet. I don't even know if she's 10 now yet. But y'all was going in on a little ass kid, bruh. And y'all think that that some of these people like are gonna give y'all even the opportunity to talk about their kid? Hell no. I don't fucking blame them. Not gonna do that to people that you socialize with, but you'll do it to celebrities who ain't got time to even come for you. So of course they're gonna shelter their kids from that. Cause their kids gonna grow up and have to experience it anyway. But why would they need to experience it while they're little impressionable kids with, you know, um, soft egos and they ain't going to understand why people are talking about them like that. I don't blame them one bit, honey. Y'all gotta like stop acting so entitled online. Whatever people want to tell you about their life and want to share with you, that is up to them. That is not up to you. All right, so I will talk about one product that I'm about to use which is Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer with some SPF 25. Um, I got this from Influencer. If you've never heard of it, go to their website, check them out. Um, basically, they'll send you free products to try out and you just have to post about it on your socials. So um, I get sent stuff probably every month or every other month at least. Um, to try out to check it out if you guys are interested in you know new if you like new products then check out influencer so shout out to them and smashbox for this product and back to the rest of the video this halo looks a little bit on the light side 
Um, so we're gonna see how this works out. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit light. So I probably can only wear this in the main inner portion of my face. Ain't got that much to do. The face don't need to really be that beat, but you just want a little bit of coverage. Then tinted moisturizer is pretty good. Decent amount of color to it. Obviously it's a tinted moisturizer, so it's not gonna have that much coverage. So if you're someone who needs full coverage, then this ain't, this ain't it. The next item on the docket that y'all are mad about today is Kamala Harris being nominated as the vice president for Joe Biden. I don't really blame y'all for being mad about this for real, for real. You know, she's done some questionable things when she was attorney general. And that's what a lot of black folks are mad about. What I will say is people were like, oh, how many black men and women did she put in jail? Blah, blah, blah. Aside from the ones who really have no business being in jail, you know, we still got to make sure that we are accountable for ourselves. Stay out of trouble as much as you can. That'll help keep some people out of jail. Obviously, it's not going to help everyone because unfortunately, you know, police just be looking for an issue with a lot of us. So I know that's not foolproof advice, but I'm just saying, worry about keeping yourself out of trouble as much as you can. Other than that, you know, when it comes to this whole presidential thing, I am not that well versed on politics. So I'm not gonna get that deep in it. The one thing that I will say that um, is kind of funny to me is I feel like Joe Biden and Kam Kamala or Kamala, whatever. I feel I feel like they are like low key getting with Thor and the Avengers to defeat Thanos. It's like one villain getting together to defeat a bigger villain. Not the Avengers, they're not the villain, but I'm saying Loki, he teamed up with them so that, you know, we could all get Thanos the fuck out of here. And I feel like together, Joe and Kamala are Loki. They both have something that they need to improve on. They both want to improve on their track records and, and get in our good graces. And I think that they feel like they could use each other to do that. You know, Joe wants to use her because she's a black woman and he feel like, all right, you know, they'll come my way for picking a woman of color. And for her, she's like, this is a big stage for me and I can talk about all of the stuff that I want to do and hopefully right my wrongs and, you know, use this vice presidential seat to do it. I also hope that she will be trying to use her position to, you know, kind of tap Joe on the shoulder and be like, hey, Joe, shut the fuck up. Because I feel like Joe just keeps putting his foot in his mouth, in his ear, in his nose. He's putting his foot everywhere but in his motherfucking shoes, okay? Like, show Joe, all you got to do is put your foot in your shoes and get the walk in. But all you keep doing is opening your mouth and putting your foot right on in there just putting it all the way up in there and i don't understand like i don't get it why do you keep talking so fucking much joe like let donald trump bury himself you sitting here talking about you if you gotta figure out whether to vote for me or trump you ain't black it's like he wants the race to be super close on purpose like you know like he enjoys the thrill like he's some kind of thrill seeking you know candidate or something like stop talking you know and maybe joe will i'm um, joe maybe kamala he'll run some things by her before he speaks and she can you know at least as a black woman sh woman she can relate on that level and be like mm, i don't think that's gonna sound too good you know i think you should rethink how you're gonna say that joe and maybe just maybe he'll listen and another thing about Kamala is I know she got her ears to the streets a little bit. You know, she was on The Breakfast Club and, you know, talking to Roland Martin. You know, she's got these ties to 
to black media. And I hope she really takes that into consideration whenever she wants to know what we think about something that she actually puts her ear to the street and she listens. And that's just me being hopeful. Obviously, can't put nothing past no one. Expectations cannot be high, especially when it comes to politics. But all I can do is hope. So we want Trump out of office. So, you know, we got to do what we got to do to get him out, period. And then in four more years, we'll get Joe the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right. So the next thing on the what y'all mad about now docket, these folks that are apparently upset about anything good that happens to black folks. Anything that's a positive opportunity that is being extended out to black people, some of y'all are out here pissed about it. Um, I seen on Twitter recently, I think it was John Leguizamo or whatever his name is. I love him in movies. Apparently he was um, mad about something that was acknowledging um, the lack of Latinos getting um, Emmy nominations or it was something along those lines that had to do with Hollywood. No, it has something to do with superheroes, I think. I'm trying to remember, but it has something to do with, I think, black superheroes or something to that effect. And he was like, where's the Latino superhero? It was one of them kind of things. And it was just like, come on, man. Like, why do y'all got to ask that question when it comes to us? It's the same thing when people, when black people say black lives matter and them certain folks be like, well, what about black on black crime? Like, we know black people are killing each other, but black people ain't the only ones doing it. White people are killing black people, Hispanics, hey, everyone's killing each other. And whatever race you're associated with is probably that race is killing their themselves the most. Like, that's just how it is. Like, all you gotta do is use your Googles. Like, come on. So stop trying to deflect. But when it comes to something especially positive, don't be on some what about us. Go out there and ask for it, but don't don't like drag us down while you do it. Feels like you're raining on our parade. And I feel that about anything. Like even if black people do it for somebody else. Like black people be talking about all the rights that gays are getting. Well guess what? Gays are marching their asses up and down the streets. They are not being si they are not being silent. They are coming together and they are doing what the hell they need to do to get their message heard and to get the outcome that that they want to get and you know when black people are so focused on the outcomes that other people are getting all i can do is say is just focus on you we focus too much on on everybody else and we can't seem to just stay the course and this is why we end up in the same place we end up behind we end up getting pushed to the back we are the the at the forefront of a lot of stuff that people do like they get a lot of ideas from us and they take them and then they go out there and and turn it into a billion dollar business and we just gotta find a way to stop allowing that to happen we gotta stop allowing it to happen we gotta be ten toes down on our own shit we gotta get our own community in order stay united you know so that whatever we need to get done we get it the fuck done to worry about why we're not flourishing the way we should be. Hopefully that's gonna change with all of the wealth that we've been seeing people, you know, black people get in the last, you know, like 50 years, the kind of wealth we've been seeing black people get. Hopefully that means that will carry over to the next generation. Don't be mad about what we get. You know, another example of something that I saw was on Twitter. Um, some kid was unfortunately killed um, the little boy was just shot, just point blank shot by this obviously insane man. And he was a little white boy and the man who shot him was a black man. And this white guy retweeted it, the story and was like, where's his rights at? Say his name. Like, don't do that, man. Like if you want something to get awareness, just put the story out there and black people can be outraged with you. 
but don't expect us to come out here and be the enforcers for everybody. We were out there because of something that we felt passionate about. If you feel passionate about that little boy getting killed, then you riot. Don't ask where his riot is. You go out there and you fucking riot. You go out there and you organize the protest. You get your brethren together and y'all fucking go out there and y'all protest. Don't sit here and ask where his riot is. Like we supposed to just jump up and start fucking rioting for some for this damn. And then on top of that, the man who killed him, he's in fucking jail already. They done already caught the nigga. They done already caught him. So what exactly are we getting like what would we be rioting for if the man is already already in jail? you know, and being charged with murder. Like, that's all we be wanting. We be, well, not all, but we at least want that. We at least want the people who are killing us to get fucking arrested and tried and get punished the way they're supposed to get punished. And we can't even get the arrest. Like, Breonna Taylor's killers are still fucking walking free. Hello? That's why people were fucking rioting. Like, we can't even get an arrest. And then, you know, you got people like Amber Geiger who killed, you know, both of John and she got um, convicted, but she got a weak ass sentence and she's trying to appeal her weak ass sentence down to a lower charge that would only have her in jail for two fucking years. After all the fucking shit that she done did, she trying to sit here and get her sentence lowered. Her sentence was already lightweight and you just can't be grateful that that's what you got and you trying to fucking get your shit overturned like you innocent. That's the shit that we are mad about. And you sitting here talking about where's the riot. This boy's killer is already in custody. Since he's a black man, he's more likely to get the death penalty. And we'll see if that if that sticks, but he'll at least be in prison for life. So, I mean, what more do you fucking what more justice do you want? Cause you're getting what we keep begging for. You're all you get it outright. White people get that shit outright. They ain't gotta go out and demand shit. That man was arrested the day after the boy was killed. The next day, bruh. Like, I don't... Uh, it, and it just shows how tone deaf some of these white folks are. Not all of y'all, because I love a lot of y'all. I got white friends, you know, and they know that I don't mean no malice by anything that I'm saying. Because some of them have come to me, you know, during this movement and asked me questions and felt comfortable enough to ask me, you know, whatever they want to ask me. And it's because they know anything that I say, I'm just coming from a place of sadness and a place of anger, but it's not, it's not all inclusive. It's not all white people. It's just the ones who, who are just fucking tone deaf and stupid and don't understand it and refuse to try to. Like if that person who shared that shit had any sense, he wouldn't be like, where's the riots? If he had any kind of sense, he, his dumb ass, that shit wouldn't even have came out his fucking mouth. Pardon my language, but we grown ups here. We talking, we talking for real, okay? So I'm just saying, I just, people make me sick. As soon as they they seen that something worked for someone else, and they just think that everything's just gonna apply the same way across the board, and it just doesn't work like that. If you want something, sometimes you gotta get the ball rolling your damn self. So you go out there and you start the riot, and we'll see. If it's something that we're passionate about too, shit, we'll jump in it with you. Or if you just want us to support you, all right, cool, just say that. But don't be a sarcastic asshole because that actually just makes us go the other way. It just makes us go the other way. Something else I also want to mention when it comes to, you know, what John Leguizamo said. I mean, I feel like people of color really got to, like, realize certain wins for black folks is a win for everyone because things just trickle down into you know being something that's for all minorities at some point especially when it comes to laws and things of that nature they will always be all inclusive so try not to jump the gun you know and start asking what about us because sometimes victories for black people our victories for all people of color and I feel like when black people are speaking about something you know there are a lot of times that I saw speeches that 
are referencing black and brown people. And so it's not that we're trying to leave y'all out. We just, you know, we just talking about our people because that's what we know. You know, if y'all join in on the fight with us, then, you know, you can speak your piece. But if you just leave us out there by ourselves, you know, then I don't know what you expect. I'm just saying. When it came to civil rights, everybody won. In fact, other minorities might have won more than black people did. I'm just I'm just putting it out there. Based on, you know, the wealth in this country, if you look up the wealth in this country, um, Asians are well above black people in wealth. And I mean, it really is a trip. And Hispanics, I think Hispanics might be behind us, but they can't be too far behind us if they're behind us. So, you know, and that's kind of natural considering, you know, how things were in this country before, which is why it's crazy that, you know, y'all have outpopulated us. But y'all are probably, y'all, Hispanics are probably going to pass us, you know, when it comes to wealth. We should really be coming together more. You know, that's just me being hopeful as well. Um, you know, I don't know how realistic it is, but it's just me being hopeful. So I just want to put that out there for any, any of y'all that might have needed to hear that. Not, you know, we're not out, we're not necessarily out for ourselves. It's just that we are feeling like an endangered species. So we just have to put the microscope us right now it ain't nothing against nobody else that's just what we doing but if you join in with us and then you got something you want us to fight what you want then we can be there for each other it can be a trade-off you know what i'm saying that's all i'm saying all right you guys so this is the end of this video makeup done about to go out here and run these errands and this is the end of today's episode of what y'all mad about now so if you guys liked this type of video, please like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. Please definitely let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. What other topics y'all think I should talk about in these kind of videos. Um, and check me out on all of my socials. That'll be here in the video and in the description box. I will catch you guys later. Peace and love.